second late, Rosa would have been crushed. Just in time, like every action movie ever. M what's going on here? Seems like Master Golbez underestimated your powers. It's Valvalis of the Air, one of Golbez's four fiends of elements. Cain, you betrayed us. I did not betray, but came to my senses. I should have gotten rid of you, but now the old man with the meteor is gone. I think you're the only one who can fight in the air. And it's boss time once again. We're up against Valvalis. Now Valvalis is of the air, and damn it, just off the bat, she's she's gone into this. Must stop her spin. Kane, jump. They give it away right away. They really do. Okay, let's cure. Let's cure Cecil because that that is definitely what we need to do here. Ah, uh, are you serious? Can I heal that away? That'd be great. Uh, that That's a slow petrify that we're going to want to get rid of immediately. And then we... Oh my god. There we go. And once you jump on Valhalla, she should return to her normal form. Can I heal the stone away? That'd be great. I can. Awesome. Now we just need to keep fighting on everybody. We also need to uh, do another cure to on uh, Cecil. He's not doing so hot right now. Especially after that last hit. But it's pretty much uh, this, this setup uh, over and over. Just keep on attacking as much as you can um, while she's in her regular form and then when she's in the, uh, the tornado form you're going to want to jump. Let's go ahead and use Rosa's command and aim. Really? 85? Like, I might as well just jump all the time with you, Kate. Are you kidding me? Well, aim still works. Nice. I didn't know aim would work. Alright, um... God. Seriously, what the hell is going on? Fight! What am I even fighting for? I don't know. Alright, uh, jump. Must stop her spin! Game jump! Yes, we've gone over this game. We've gone over this. Just, just defend. Uh, who's that gonna hit? Nobody! Nice. Uh, God. White. Heal. You are being very annoying, Valvalis. I hope you realize that. Heal again. Alright, now we can go back to actually doing damage. But man, Valvalis is getting a lot of attacks in. A lot of attacks. And most of them I do need to heal and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully we can get... You know, just jump. Just jump again. And I think we can actually go for an aim this time with Rosa. We, we can actually avoid using... Uh, Using her for healing on something? See, yeah, I should be jumping every time with Kane. That is clearly the best option for him. And down goes Valvalis! It wasn't that tough of a fight, but if you don't know uh, some of the tricks, you know, it, it, it could be tough. There's not that many tricks to that one, though. You get 5,500 gil, 1,900 experience. Nice. Down you go. Why, why do you have red hair now? You know, the last and mightiest of us four is still left. Perish with this tower! <gasps> and she laughs as she run off, runs off, and oh no, we're trapped in the Tower of Zot. It's collapsing. Watch out! Whoa! Hold on to me. Yes, baby. <laughs> Body warmth. Exit! And she casts Exit! So that we can exit. It makes perfect sense. And all five of us are there. Luckily we do have the five-man party. Where is it? <laughs> what is this? It's your room in Baron. It's safe since the fake king is gone. Cecil, I have something to tell you. 
<laughs> Damn, Sid likes to spin. What's that? It's about the crystals. The crystal of Earth from Toroya was taken away. This means Golbez has gathered all the crystals. No, there are other crystals. I thought there were only four. Then the rumor is true. Right, the dark crystals. The crystal of the the crystals of this world and are those of light and of open side, so to speak. I don't know how you speak that way. Then there are the hidden crystals. They are the dark crystals. Right. Therefore, Golbez has gathered half of all the crystals. But the rumors do not say the whereabouts of the dark crystals. Golbez knows. We must hurry then. Where is it, Cain? Literally, the hidden side of the earth. The underground. Underground? How? Dig a hole? How do we get there? <laughs> is what I meant to say. Anyway, he said when all the crystals of light and darkness are gathered, the way to the moon opens. Way to the moon? Yes! I guess so. And this is the clue to the secret, so he said. You should have it. Alright, we received the magma key. Use this in a certain place to open the way to the underground. A certain place? Where? I don't know. I don't know. What's to think about? We have the Enterprise to fly around the world in no time. But it was left in the Tower of Zot. Didn't I tell you? It's the latest. It's back in Baron by remote control. Seriously? Seriously? Remote control? Whatever. Sid, we really count we really count on you. We can count on you. You think so? Let's leave tomorrow's morning to search for the entrance to the underground. Now I'm like double checking every line before I say it, so you have to excuse me if I get one of them wrong because they're just so bad sometimes. But why didn't Cecil just why yeah why didn't Golbez just finish me off then? I don't know Cecil. I don't know why. Well I know, but that's a spoiler. No, it's nothing. Let's take a rest. Because he was weakened by media. That's what you yourself said, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's -a go. So it's back into Baron that we go. Nice. But those were some uh, some long cutscenes, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to make my way out to the entrance so that I can save, and I'll meet you back inside. Okay, we're back in the main room here, after I did just a little bit of saving. <gasps> Didn't need to heal though, that's always nice. And what's this here? We do have a switch on the door. Uh, we haven't, well, we didn't really get to see that before. We were told there was a treasure room down here, but finally we get to see it. <laughs> get an ether one, another ether one, a cure two, life potion, life potion, and another cure two. And there's there's nothing else here? You sure, game? I don't trust you. You and y'all's damn secret passages. <laughs> but there is nothing else here. Ah, oh, man. Those fights, man. Those fights I made look really easy, I thought. I thought I made them look a lot easier than they actually are. I, I actually do need to go down this way. Because the right side of Baron Castle has been opened up for me. What's up? Ghost. Real? Oh, yes, I am working hard, sir. Boss, and you, Cecil. Whatever, man. Seriously, where was the English spell check on this guy? On this game? <laughs> get a cure one, a heal, and a tent. How am I going to get this treasure chest, though? There doesn't seem to be a way for me to be able to do that. Anything in these bots? An elixir. Holy crap, that is one hell of a good bot. I don't know how much I had to pay for that, but I'm sure it's illegal for that bot. So, let us head down here and... What? <gasps> Cecil. Your Majesty? Wh who is that? Go to the land of summoned monsters and return here. I shall be of help. What? <gasps> what, are you, what are you talking about, dude? <gasps> no. <sighs> so, there's a, the king told us to go to the land of summoned monsters. I have no idea where that is. What the hell is he talking about? Oh well, we might as well just go back up the way that we came then. And from the stairs, just 
point up, and that's how you get that cure one. <laughs> it's not that complicated when you think about it. I bet some of you are like, oh my god, that was so easy, how did I miss that? And other of you are like, yeah, that was that was the easiest chest ever, what are you talking about? <laughs> get a life potion, another cure two, let's head up once again. Keep climbing the tower, anything here, we get an ether one out of that pot? Uh, get a tent, another tent, ether one. Really? There's nothing else here? Feels like there should be more. Feels like there should be more, but there isn't. Unless... No. Okay. That's just me being wishful thinking and hoping that there's a, a way around up there. But there's not. There isn't. Wait, I can go out here? Oh, this is the, uh, the, the, the single level. Alright, so now we are done here, and we need to go back outside. It's a little bit of a walk, so I'll just cut that out. Alright, made it back outside, and here is the Enterprise waiting for us. Why they couldn't have just said that there was a pilot or something like that that was on board? Why they had to say it was remote control that brought it along? I, I have no idea. It just said to have said, oh, it turned out that I, you know, I brought a guy, a backup pilot, just in case. And in case something like this would happen. No, 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 no. Remote control. I mean, I know there's magic in this game, but seriously. Remote control. We need to head south from Baron. <laughs> I'm done talking Baron. We need to make it to the town of Agart, our next destination just directly south. What is up? The village of those who have ancestors who were dwarves. O okay. Is that how you're supposed to spell dwarves? I've never known. I've heard it both ways. I've seen it both ways with an F-S and a V-E-S. I've assumed that V-E-S is the proper way, but I see it F-S all the time. Yeah, so they are like half dwarves around here, I guess. What's up? Lady, stop running from me. We can't live without the sun, but our ancestors were a bit different. What? Your ancestors lived without the sun. I don't understand, and here we find the Astro Tower. Once Cory starts researching, he doesn't even listen to me. I wouldn't either. This is the Astro Tower, the one and only place with the telescope. There's something going on with the moon. We're busy researching the moon. Uh, uh, is that a globe? Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, they've kind of given it away a few times. We'll be going to the moon in this game! And one of many times in Final Fantasy that we're going into space. I want to look at the moon. What What is on the moon? Wait, I can't press any button? I wanted to move the telescope around. Like, I can't... I, I, I pushed left, like, trying to focus in on the moon. Put it in the center, but they wouldn't let me do that. Why are there, like, green and purple stars? I mean, red stars... Yes. Blue stars? Yes. But, like, only if you see them real close. I mean, most of these should be yellow. Or white. Whatever. I'm done thinking about it. Nice moon. I don't see anything going on, no. And this is way too big of a telescope for, for you guys to, to get that image. And it's daytime, you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. I'm Professor Corey. I research the moons. The moons? We have two moons. Okay, so I researched the moons here in this tower. We have two moons. One is just a simple moon, but the other seems to have living creatures on it, and it's turning red. Just like the color of rubies. Yes, I know what red is. I hope this doesn't mean anything bad. No! <laughs> Surely this, that when things turn red, that just means that they're getting closer. What? Wait. Yes. When, when things get closer, they have a red tinge to them, I believe. Oh, my astrophysics is, is dated. I believe that uh, red shift means that they're coming towards you, and blue means they're going away, but still. Not sure. Our legend has it that all has its reverse. Yes, this world is no ex exception. Okay, so there's... I don't understand, no. Here we have an ancient well enshrined. It's said that this well is bottomless. Hopefully I'll never have to go down it. Uh, is this another empty house? It is. Anything? Oh, there's a naming way in here. No, I'm not going to change the names. Um, yeah, still still not going to be changing the names. Uh, so that... No. There's nothing else here? Nothing else? Okay, fine. Want to explore a little bit? 
very strong, but my great-great-great-grandpa was much, much, much stronger, I'm sure. He, I mean, that's why they call him great, isn't it? Uh, okay, nothing here. There might be some hidden items in these bushes. Apparently I was wrong. Don't make fun of me just because I'm staying in the bushes along with some little girl. That's, that's totally not what was going on. Let's go into the weapon shop and never talk about it again. We have a rod, a staff, a spear, a boomerang. A boomerang, sorry, it's not even a boomerang. Boomerang, short bow, crossbow, iron, and white. So, I mean, this is all pretty much a, a downhill thing, I assume. I assume that the spear is not going to be good as good as the wind spear that 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 uh, Kane has on right now. I do need to sell some stuff when I get some time, though. Let's head over to the armor shop. Why I can just walk like you know that way is beyond me. You guys should really put a door in the middle. Nobody ever does that. Uh, iron, 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 iron. Honestly, don't remember if iron is better or not. So I'm gonna have to look that at that later. They don't tell me in the shop though. That's one of the bad points about these early Final Fantasy games. They're just like, what you? No, you you're just supposed to know. And you've got you've got ruby and you've got iron. What, well, which one's better? What do you mean you don't know? What our ancestors? How did they come here? Let me see. That is, I forgot. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's kind of important. Is there anything over here? No, no, there is not. So why did I waste my time then? Let us head over to the left then, because I do know that there was more this way. There was a dude over here and everything. I, I seriously can't go that way? Fine, whatever. What's up, little kid? It's because of my dwarf blood that I'm so short. <laughs> sure, that's it. I wish I had an ogrish. Ogrish? Ogrish one? Ogre-ish, I assume is what he's going for. <laughs> he wants to be an ogre, but we get a cure too out of there. There's going to be secret items. I can feel it in my bones. But it looks like we have fully explored the town. Uh, you're in my way, though. Please get out of my way. Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to... I don't need to rest at the end, uh, but I'm going to double-check all the equipment and all that kind of stuff. And I'll let you know what I decide.